back to the shop from my trips and it looks like body and Jason have been busy getting the shop ready to paint for the booth so I'll, you guys can see the car right here looks like Madi's out to go grab some uh, compressor fluid but since I'm back I finally got my seats so I'm gonna be pulling those seats in showing you guys what it looks like so as you can see you got the bride seat there from Japan I had my buddy over there cut it up so they can ship a little bit cheaper Check these out, these are 2017 Bride Zeta 3s with the new glitter back. This is their new shell painting now that they do to distinguish themselves from further and further away from their replicas. Um, I will show you the whole seat later on, but just to get an idea of what it looks like in the wrapping, I have two of these, I got two rails. I'm gonna be installing some of these uh, films. What they do is they block off the heat from the engine bay and I also got a floor and tunnel shield so that it doesn't get too hot inside the, the driver cockpit while I'm driving the car so should be fun today. So I brought the seat in you obviously saw it outside so like I said earlier this is the new 2017 Brids Zeta 3s with their new glitter back it's a little darker um, the reason why they painted it like this, and it's a new new shell for 2017, is because it's to distinguish from the fakes and the replicas that exist out there, and also to improve a design to refresh the look of the bride seats or the brid seats. So I got two of these that came in from Japan. If you guys want to order more, let me know. I order these on a consistent basis. Um, I do not try to keep too many in stock, mainly because they're kind of... They are, they are a bit expensive. I got my rail for the passenger side here. I have the rail for the driver's side upstairs. So I bought these online because we don't have an account with them directly. However, this is really thin so and it can resist up to about 850 degrees of continuous heat. So I'm gonna wrap this around the, the firewall of the engine bay to, to kind of block off some of the heat. This one, I'm probably gonna put it inside the cabin just to keep some of the foot area pretty cool. If you guys are used to driving 240s in the summer, uh, your feet get really hot if you're driving it for a long time, especially if you're pushing your car. But that's kind of the reason why I got it. You don't absolutely need it. It is just a preference. I think this costed about around $40. What I'm gonna say this is about $30 as well. So it's not too expensive to get. Out here, painting the rear bumper support black just cause Scott's here as well. Car is out in the sun. Madi's uh, finishing up some sanding. I sand alone, bro. Sand alone. That's gotta be a oh, hashtag. Man. One sand. That's, that's alone. black black magic's favorite <laughs> word. So I think today you're gonna spray it, right? Is that the, is that the, is that the plan? No, I'm gonna uh, seal it. Seal it. So he's gonna Let's seal it. See how it. far we get. You know how to sand it and mask it and everything. My goal is to uh, seal it today and paint it tomorrow. So we're out here. Jen's uh, working on the car. We didn't have time to finish the 13, so we brought the 14 out and we're swapping out the tires. We're not gonna be running the Mizbos. We're gonna be running instead the gravity wheels. We've got new fresh rubber on all four. So that's what we're gonna be using today and I'm gonna be teaching my brother how to drift today. So this will be Jen's first drift event and we got lots of tires to practice with so we should be good. Hopefully the car doesn't break down. Oil is good so we can always check everything else. I brought all the necessary tools. All right, so my bro's first time, so he's gonna go parade lap in the 14. It's the first time he's ever drifted this car. And then we're gonna see how he does his first run.
I didn't do a very good job vlogging throughout the drift event, mainly because I was kind of busy driving. Me, myself, I got about 10 laps throughout the whole night. My brother himself, he had this as his first time. Learned a lot, got familiar with driving my car. He's never really driven my S14 before. He gained a lot of experience this time around to get himself familiar with drifting. And the whole purpose was to get him excited and he really got excited about driving. So now I'm stoked for him to build his own car or he can keep sharing mine or and my 13. The only bad news is I didn't record any of this at the night that it happened, but I was super bummed. Um, the S14 finally gave out. And if you saw my Instagram post, I'll link it up right here, is that the SR20 finally crapped. Um, at my last lap of the night, it was about, I would say, 11.45 p.m. I wanted to do one more run. I was getting really familiar with the course, coming onto the banks, coming off the banks, and connecting all the turns as best I could. Some of those clips you saw earlier were just throughout the, throughout the night, each try I run I had. The quality isn't very good, I didn't bring my camera, I just had some people film from their phones and just send me their clips. The motor, after my last lap, I had a great, I had a great run, but it just it wouldn't turn back on, so then I finally got it to kick on. You know, I could hear it, the knocking noise was very apparent, and obviously the more I revved, the harder it knocked, so I was like, ah, this is... It was a, it was a huge deal breaker, so... But I'm not upset because it's been about four and a half years since I've had the car and I've been using it pretty aggressively throughout these past years and I've enjoyed it a lot. So now I'm in the steps of rethinking my build of what I'm going to do. So just wanted to give you guys a recap on it because I thought it'd be weird. I thought it'd be weird if I just ended the vlog like that. So if you guys have any questions or comments or if you have any ideas what I should do next, post them below. Like and share the video if you guys liked it and subscribe because I am going to be posting up new updates to the S13 pretty soon. Again, if you guys would like to reach out and comment or talk to any of the Vanilla Crew members, just reach out to us on Facebook or follow us on Instagram and we'll get back to you.